Six months ago, I underwent surgery. My hair transplant surgery. <laughs> And here we are, six months later. Update video. Ooh, look at the hair. Look at the follicles. My little bitty baby hairs doing their thing. That is what I wanted to talk about in today's video here on the second channel because I feel like it's important for me to document stuff like this for myself, but also for like anybody who might want to go through the same thing or it are, is going through the same thing. I feel like there's some things that might help you or just might inform you that I've found out along my way, along my journey. Well, I guess to start off, we should look through some of the pictures from my surgery day. Here we have an absolutely gorgeous one. I think they said it was like 1500 graphs or something like that, but pretty much what they did was they just put like a diamond on my head and I actually got to drew, draw my own hairline. I'll show you guys that one too. You know, not like super straight and I kind of wanted to keep it like that because I wanted it to feel natural. I didn't want to have like a brand new hairline. I just wanted something to like resemble what I had before and I just naturally have a widow's peak. My whole family does so. So there's two kinds of hair transplants. I did FUT which is like the older style where it was like a strip that they would take off of the back of my head. Uh, they'd actually make an incision in my head, so if I can, I'll turn around right now and see if I can give you guys. I mean, my hair's grown out a little bit from uh, my last haircut, but you can kind of see it's a pretty decent scar, and it's an older style. There's a newer style that essentially just has a robot come in and take, like, each hair individually it takes a lot longer and it's a it's a little bit more involved you have to shave your head uh with the strip style that was like a selling point that they had was like that you don't have to shave your head it's easily like hideable and you can like you know secretly transition through your hair transplant but at the end of the day i just shaved my head off anyways because as you can see it is so messy with the whole wrapping and the bacitracin and or like whatever gel they have you to like put in the back of your head to help heal that and then along with sleeping like trying to sleep was just miserable with the whole cut i feel like that was like the m major drawback the procedure up top itself was perfect but it's just like the healing sucked so badly i couldn't i had to sleep uh sitting up for like a week a week plus and just a constant headache. I mean, I had some pretty hilarious swelling <laughs> that I'll include here as well. But like, it was just really uncomfortable. And from what I've seen with the FUE procedure, it seems to be like a lot more comfortable or at least more comfortable quicker. If I was ever to have a second transplant, and I'm, I, I, I don't know if I will or not, but if I ever do, I'm doing FUE. The FUT is just too painful. It's just too much. I'm, I'm a, call me a wimp, whatever, but it's just not worth it. Another thing is with the scabbing on top of your head. Um, I was really self-conscious about like picking it off, even though my doctor was like pretty adamant about like picking it off within the first week. Um, I still had a lot of scabbing. I was just really afraid, but I called him up and he assured me that I can start, you know, digging my nails and a little bit in into it as we do the whole cut method and like during the day when everything's like super duper scabbed over. He was like, don't worry, none of it's going to fall out. You're going to be fine. And I was like, OK, I want to believe you, but I want to scratch my head so goddamn badly. I feel like I'm going to pull this shit out. So I did a little test. I did a little experiment for the sake of learning and I went super super soft on this side with my pulling of the scabs and I kind of I kind of dug in a little bit on this side with my scab pulling and I will say that man was capping 100% that man is so wrong I have a little bitty bald spot where I absolutely know that I dug out a follicle and it just Mm, it's still, if I was ever to get another transplant, I would literally just get that spot filled in. Only spot. <sighs> but I had to get that off my chest, okay? I know the doctor usually knows best, but like, dude, follow your intuition, okay? Moving on from that, I will say that like the first five months is really gonna look like nothing happened. 
and it's going to be really sparse and really, really shitty to feel and to look at yourself in the mirror. But you got to push past that shit. You got to be strong, dude. Run your fingers through your through your little area. You're going to feel little bitty, uh, little bitty baby hairs, like the little pointy, almost like prickly little hairs. Those little hairs are going to grow up to be so big and strong. <laughs> like, I'll try to include some, some uh, close-ups of my hair right now. But like, dude, like three months in, they're starting to get a little length to them. But they're still little baby hairs. You got to let those little bitty baby hairs like fill in the thickness because it's, it's definitely going to come. And uh, that would definitely be the hardest part that I would say to go through. It was rough. But month five? Month six? Oh, my God started to finally see my hairline like my real ass hairline and there's a few things that I want to share with you guys that I feel like definitely helped the growth process and also just like self-esteem and like going out in public because like my big goal was to not like have to wear a beanie or a hat to like the grocery store you know and like run into somebody you know that you, that you know and then you know say something about your hair or some just something like that you know just like a weird look that was my goal so some stuff that i feel like really helped was the fact that you're all you are so you have to stay so perfect on to your meds like the finasteride and the medoxil medoxidil i have two both of, i take both of those in tablet forms rather than the on top like spray or, or the the cream or the, i don't even know what the freak it was but it was it's really uncomfortable i really hate the topical stuff but take those every day along with like a men's health vitamin if you don't do that already you probably just should in general but and every night i use this nioxin scalp and hair treatment natural thinning light hair it was actually like a little tag along gift that I got when I bought my Nioxin shampoo, which is something I would also recommend. It's like a minty blue, um, super refreshing condi uh, shampoo and conditioner that actually promotes hair growth. It has Medoxidil like in the formula, I, I think. But this stuff, every single night, just soak your donor area in it, let it kind of dry, dry and then go to bed. I really think it makes a difference. Another huge booster would be this topic. This is just a lifesaver whenever you're like quickly trying to go somewhere and you don't want to look disheveled and, and look super, super thinning, but you, you really want to try to get used to not, you know, like wearing a hat or wearing a beanie out. I have the dark brown, but they come in like a bunch of different hair colors and everything. It's, I'm not trying to be like sponsored, but hey, you know what? wouldn't mind, okay? But wait, there's more. So one last thing that I feel like really, really helped with my self-confidence, as well as like actually growing the hair in the donor areas, was picking up a, and you might laugh at me for this, but you have to go and buy this eyebrow henna kit. Angela does eyebrows like for a, a living at, at her job and her career. So she just was doing this for me because we thought of it might be like a nice idea. But if you just want to pick up one of these guys, it's like 40 bucks for a kit. You get these little capsules uh, of henna. You mix it all with like this liquid that you get in the kit. It's super, super simple. And you have this little paintbrush and all you do is you just kind of paint your hairline with just one capsule, you know, just make it, you know, kind of spread it a little thin at first, but do your hairline, let it dry, let it sit, and then wash it out. Get like a, you know, a, a t-shirt or a towel you don't really care about because it's gonna leave a, a little bit of dye on, on that, but you can, you can wash it out. It actually promotes hair growth and it gives your hair this like natural shadow after like one or two washes, dude. It looks so good. More people need to realize that this is possible. And I feel like it's a little secret that my wife and I found out. So pick one up, dude. It's like 40 bucks. <sighs> but other than that, I still wear beanies like every single day. I am still wearing hats like almost every day. And I'm just trying to work towards these baby bangs, dude. That's my goal is the little baby bangs. They're not, they're not quite there yet, but mark my words. Give me another six months. I'm gonna be looking fresh, dude. And so are you if you go through with your procedure and I hope these things helped you. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll, I'll be answering them. 
But uh, other than that, as always, I don't have to end. I don't. I don't have to end it like that, right, dude? I'm just so excited for the fact that I actually get to like have a little bit of like a hairstyle now. It's such a freeing thing, and. I didn't even realize, but before I got my surgery, I really thought that this was just for like balding dudes. Um, but recently, after coming out on TikTok and kind of talking about this with you guys, I've learned that it's actually a gender affirming surgery for trans folk as well. And like, there's so like, just realizing that I had no idea like the this could reach as far as it potentially could. So, I mean, I feel like that's awesome. <laughs> I feel like we should all be, you know, our sexiest versions of ourselves. So thank you, TikTok, for opening my mind and teaching me a little bit. Appreciate that. I am going to get back to growing these follicles, but hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try to get to them. And uh, grow those follicles, baby. Hell yeah. Peace out.